Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I am revamping my planner as we move into this next quarter of 2020. I mentioned in my initial half letter disc bound planner setup video that I would only be keeping a quarter at a time in my planner. And a couple weeks ago, I went and cleaned everything out because there were certain sections that just weren't serving me any purpose. And I have mentioned this in previous videos, as life changes and our schedules change, our productivity tools need to match those changes in our lives. And with everything going on with this pandemic and my schedule, my hours increasing at work, and just trying to keep up with all of the other projects I have going on, I needed to make changes to adapt to my lifestyle. So I went and cleaned out majority, well, two sections I completely eliminated from my planner and I took out my older inserts. So I took out my finance section because it was just there as a section. I wasn't really gravitating to it with everything that's going on now more than ever I need to be on top of my finances and I do have the section inside of here in my notes section but this may or may not be added back in I'm not sure I'm not too sure about that yet I don't know but I don't know I don't know I'm I'm still debating about that and then the other section I took out was my goals section. I still have my annual goals in here, but I took out my goals from January and February. I also took out all of my January inserts, which majority of them are from Dear Planner, which I'll have information on her Etsy shop in the description box. And then I also had some free... Well, not free printables. She does have some freebies, but I also had these printables from MJ Planner, which I have shared on my Instagram. And I'll have her information and a coupon code in the description box as well. Another thing that I had did in the first quarter was go ahead and add in a table of contents for each of my sections. And I do have a video on this. I simply used a journaling card and made a quick guide of what each section entailed. So that I still have for my blogging section, which is all YouTube stuff. And then my note section, which has my freelance stuff, my bills, projects, and now finance. I'm going to end up writing this over because I didn't even realize that it said bills here. And I had bills as far as like bills reference because this is my reference section. So I'm going to have to write this over. But as for what I am going to be taking out and adding in, all of this is going to be coming out from March. So let me go ahead and take that out. I am going to um, also take out the block schedule because it does not apply to everything that's going on right now. I may end up pulling this back out. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to archive it for now. I've also had questions about that. Like, what do you do with your older inserts? Some people toss them. If it's a to-do list, I'll toss it. But I do like to go back and look at my inserts. And I just put them in a pile. And then at the end of the year, if I decide to go ahead and discard them then fine. I also may add different things to my fun planner which I'm using the enlightenment planner as my fun planner so that might happen as well. So I'm keeping the perpetual calendar. I'm keeping all of my dividers that are still in here now. This is the last week of March which as I'm doing this we're in the last week of March and I realize oh snap April is basically here. I also have this dot grid paper. I also have my sticky note dashboard. My blog section is pretty good. It's nothing in there that's crazy. And my note section, I did add my household inventory list to this, 
which if you guys would like to um this is garbage if you guys would like to check this video out i'll have it in the description box and then i also have just my whole little finance section here which is like my bill tracker i also have just like um the amount of the bills on the back but I did go more in depth on this in a previous video, I think. But I'm going to be updating it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to be keeping up with my finances, to be completely honest. So stay tuned for that. And then my goals for the year, I will be doing an updated um, quarter one reflection, just going over my goals and see what I have accomplished so far. And I will be adding that into here as well. So I could have kept the goal section. I could have kept the finance section. I just, I don't know. When I cleaned it out, it just wasn't what I wanted at the moment. It's just not what I wanted. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave everything as is. And if I do ever decide to add those sections back in, I can but for now I'm just rocking out with these three because this is the most important to me and I also move my goals and my finance into a separate section because I'm not in those sections as much as I'm in both my blog slash YouTube and planning I really wish I had a YouTube label but I don't it's okay but I'm in these sections more than I am in the other two which is why I eliminated them and just consolidated everything into the note section so I have more of my Dear Planner inserts. So here is April, May, and June. I'm gonna go ahead and put all three of those in. And I also added in dot grid paper um, in case I wanna do daily spreads. So I would love to get more. I'm just not going to the store right now to get any more of this dot grid paper, but I love it. And what I love about these Dear Planner inserts is that it has this dot grid space on the back. So I'm actually going to be putting my goals on the back of here, which is another reason I really didn't need a separate goal section for the month because I was going to move the page and put it here. And then the goal section was just going to be there again wasn't serving me a true purpose so I wasn't using the back of this page but now I can put my goals here and reflect so that's that and then here are the weekly plans inserts that I'm going to be using I mentioned in my keeping up with all the things video that I am assisting and homeschooling a 10 year old which is a life of a nanny hashtag um so I use this to put in my top task of the day and then I use the priorities to keep track of my freelance stuff or running to-do list and then the notes is as is but I really do like just having one task a day here it's pretty nice so yeah there we have that. So I'm just going to put in one, two, three, four, five in this one. One, two, three, four, five. And then this one's going to have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the last one is going to have one, two, three, four. Yeah, just four of that. One, two, three, four, because those last two days are gonna carry into July. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's like, the next three months will be halfway through. It's so crazy how fast time flies, y'all. Seriously. One, two, three, four for June. All right. So that is that. And if I want to add this in in between, fine. I also have some of these to-do lists. 
um, which I like to use to mark out photos I'm taking for social media. But that is it for that. So really quickly, my planning section, it no longer has the block schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and update these cards. And like I didn't throw away the other inserts and everything I took out, I'm not throwing away these cards. I'm going to clip them together um, and just work with it. So let me see which ones was I using because I want them to all be uniform. And then... All right, I want them to all be uniform, so I need to find that one. I can't find it. I'm trying to see. Oh man, why can't I ever find what I'm looking for? Let me check. Okay, so I was going to go ahead and save those that I made, the index slash table of contents for each of my, each of my sections. But who's to say that it's going to stay like that? And because I have these cards and I can write them over um, whenever I just went ahead and just made new ones. So this is coming out. I do want to get uniform paper clips for all of this. So this last section is going to have my household inventory, my finance, my freelance, my annual goals, and then miscellaneous notes. Then here... Just has my YouTube tracker, Instagram tracker, video log, ideas, and then series reference. And then for the planning section, there's my year at a glance, the monthly, the weekly, and the daily. And I put an asterisk there because sometimes I have daily, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I will use a to-do list as a daily, the MJP insert that I showed, or make my own. Now let's go ahead and decorate a little bit. I'm going to decorate for um, April. I was about to say March. Nope. We're in April. So I'm just going to decorate both the April monthly and the weekly plans. But I'm going to save this for a separate plan with me so if you guys would like to see that tune into my next a future video so that's it so that this video won't be incredibly long so now it is time to do a little bit of planning I was gonna do this in a separate video but since I have you guys here why not just do the plan with me all together? All right, I'm going to be using these Fabulously Creative Designs stickers from the Girl Boss sticker book. And I'm also going to be using some of these girls here. And I'm trying to see, do I have any of the other ones that I wanted to use? That's all. I'm just going to use that. Uh, so let's see. What do I want to go with? Uh, I've used this one already, but I really do like her. So I'm just going to go. Is this one too large? Is this too large? Uh, but I feel like that's too small. What are we doing here? Alright, I'm going to go with this one. And... Okay, I'm going to actually put this back and just... Flip the switch. And choose a different size. Okay, let's see. Will this work? Alright, boom. There we go. So, important dates I don't really have like any um I'm gonna use some of these and if you would want to see any of these stickers 
you, um, close up, then check out the video I did on sharing the new stickers. So I don't care about covering Saturday and Sunday. Doesn't bother me any. Kind of want this page to be a little, little plant life. I think that's a little too much though to do all the plants. So I could do this one here and just move it over eh, over. Sometimes I feel like I'm so out of touch when it comes to playing with me's. I don't know. All right, so then I'm just going to pop the girl boss down here. And then, um, what days will this be? This will be 20, well, 30, 31. And I'm going to put them over here to three, four, five. My sister's 16th birthday is on the 6th. And the little girl that I babysit her birthday is on the 31st. So I'm going to put that in. I'm also going to pull in some other stickers as well. But um, for now, I'm just seeing what else I want to add. The sticker book does come with 16 sheets, um, eight designs. Um, so you get duplicates of the sheets. I don't know. I just, let's see what I want to put on the birthdays. Well, not the birthdays, but what do I want to do to mark her birthday? I think I'm just going to put a little plant on the 6th and then this week in general is just a lot of little things going on but since I said I was using this to put in my priorities of the day I don't know it's more decorative to me than anything and that's all right because some weeks at this point it is what it is it is what it is. All right, and then I'm just playing around with stickers. I know that this don't make sense for everybody, but again, I feel like I'm a little out of touch. I will be using some of these stickers in my fun planner though, which will be cool. But uh, yeah, as time goes on, I'll go ahead and add more stickers i'm trying to think is there anything else happening in april the fourth and the fifth is wrestlemania weekend i will be off work this week the 13th through the 17th even though the kids are doing remote working spring break still applies um so i think that's all I'm going to add and that is it for this little mini plan with me using my fabulously creative design stickers. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's put everything back in the planner. Do you guys have, let me know down in the comment section, do you guys have your planner cleared out for the next three months. Do you keep the whole year in at a time? Would love to know your planner schedule if you do have one. This is so different for me because usually I have the whole year and and this is the first time I'm actually rotating things out on a frequent basis in my planner. So let me know what you guys are doing in your system. Would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And feel free to leave any other questions or suggestions you may have there as well. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have related videos. And of course, the links to the blog and Instagram. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. I'll also have coupon codes and all that good stuff on the shop 
photographed I mentioned in this video as well. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.